Hi, I'm Elisha Cooper, and there's no way I can answer the question about what Caldecott book uh, most influenced me because there, there are too many. I was looking at the bookshelf this morning, and I picked some out, and I was reminded of Castle, which I read as a boy, which I would just fall into for days, if not a whole summer, just pouring through the illustrations. I love that book. Um, also, Blueberries for Sal was big for me growing up. I I still look at it now because it's so um, not only beautiful but also the drawings are so respectful of animals. I loved that. I also loved Ferdinand, which is not a Caldecott book, which is full. Um, I loved that book. I loved again. It's it's uh, the beauty and also its respect for animals. Maybe the biggest influence was Kitten for obvious reasons because it's a cat book, but also because the storytelling in this book is so deft and so simple, or it kind of appears simple, but it's not. And the pacing is lovely. Um, the drawings are lovely. What a book. And I also recognize that the books I'm talking about here are all black and white, and my book is black and white. And there are so many books with color in them that I loved too from, oh my God, look at this one. Just, I could, I could look at this blue for days in my kitchen. Um, anyway, I'm sorry I can't really answer the question. I think in some ways the biggest thing that influences me uh, is just going out in the city or in the countryside and looking at things and, and, and trying to find the humor in them. And um, that's it. Hello, New Orleans.